Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakitis coming to you from Channel Partners 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas. And joining me today is Corey Cohen, Vice President of Marketing for Mettel. Corey, welcome to JSA TV. Buffy, is that how you say your last name? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Corey, you're such a veteran industry professional, especially when it comes to the channel and marketing. My dear friend, it's so good to see you here in Vegas again. I, I love seeing you. I mean, you, you, you show us all up when you look like this. And I'm, you know, in a jean jacket. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm here. I mean, the excitement here at Channel Partners is bigger than it's ever been. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah. The, the energy was electric in November. And now it's still there because people are just so happy to like be connected to people again and be out and about with the world. And without the mask mandate, I mean, it's kind of great. I mean, it's also dangerous, but it's great. <laughs> well, we're definitely trying to keep safe here in Vegas, but let's talk a little bit more about your role at Mettel. So you recently joined Mettel, one of my favorite organizations in the whole entire world. And I was so happy to see that you joined Mettel. Tell us a little bit more about your role and what you're doing to develop and even grow and enhance their channel program. Well, I am, to say I'm thrilled to be at Mettel is like an understatement. I've been working with the, the, the crew, the Mattel family for the last like seven years. And so it was a really natural fit when they called on me to uh, lead channel marketing. And honestly, it's, it's, it's home. Like it feels like home. I can tell you since I started the channel. So the majority of the majority of business actually at Mattel is channel. Um, and as, as true as that is, the channel team was divided into like three different teams. And it was really, I'm, I'm not, to say it was a little confusing to work with Mattel was, is it also an understatement? So when I came on board, I think I actually was maybe a catalyst for unifying the program. So now we have one channel team. Tim Hanley is channel chief. And uh, we have a, a fabulous, fabulous leadership team, Jake Aronow. He's kind of like our executive sponsor for channel. Um, we have Dave Mitchell, who's VP of channel sales and Dave Dixon, who's VP of channel ops, channel sales ops. Um, and an incredible, very tenured, you and I were just talking about that, a tenured sales team. And, you know, from a marketing perspective, they've spent many years sort of building out their services, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. And so my whole job is building up this channel marketing team and promoting the heck out of, of Mattel. Well, congrats to you, Corey, for joining such a wonderful organization and congrats to Mattel for, <laughs> for having you. So Corey, I mean, Mattel solutions have grown and evolved so much over the years. Can you tell me a little bit more about some of the new solutions that Mattel has offering? Yeah. So, you know, not new. This is, and this is when I was doing my listening tour, meaning like calling up partners and saying like, what are you selling with Mattel? What do you need more of? How can I fully support you? The resounding answer was kind of like, you know, Mattel could do a better job of communicating with us, which, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why I was hired. I agree. Uh, and so I think, um, a lot of people know Mattel, 25, six years in business um, as an aggregator. And honestly, that's not, uh, that was the backbone and it developed into a whole practice of POTS transformation. We are the only US based company on Gartner's magic leader. Uh, we're a leader in their magic quadrant for managed network services. Our SD-WAN SASE solution is you know, honestly, I think the best platform, uh, it's proprietary network. Um, and I, I, I think it's the best in the industry. And then there's obviously our mobility and IOT practice, which, uh, doesn't compare to, you know, anyone else's. And that's true. I mean, such a leader in the mobility space for, for so many years. Um, but you mentioned SASE. Mm -hmm. So it's like one of the hottest acronyms out there. Do you want to talk a little bit about SASE? I mean, no. Am I an engineer? And and also, like, what is SASE? It's so nebulous. Like, it's like cloud. Um, no, <laughs> I mean, I, listen, I think that selling SASE is, um, I, I, 
it's a concept at this point more than an actual product. We are building out that product as part of our SD-WAN entire holistic network approach. Um, but you can't have, I mean, SD-WAN is a secure it's a it's a secure network to begin with. Um, we you know we we layer and I'm not the best person to talk about this. Like I'm not a solution engineer, but we layer for Fortinet within our network. And when you're talking about SASE, you're talking about like zero trust networking, and you're talking about um, you know secure gateways and firewalls. And I think that as a concept, um, rolling out you know secure edge is uh, something that everyone. I mean, we all have we all have endpoints that need to be managed, and I think that it's at this point we need to figure out how to make money on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, making money in the channel is is definitely uh, at the forefront for sure. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about Metal's mobility solution set. Mm. All right, yeah, that I can talk about all day. Um, so. The way, I think it's a fair assumption. I think it's a fair, a, a safe thing to say that like business has changed because of the pandemic. Like I think we can we can safely say that. Um, Gartner came out with the prediction that um, for the next, I don't even know how many years, but from now until who knows forever, it's a 50-50 split. 50% in office, 50% at home. And business no longer is like wireline versus wireless. It's like a holistic it's a holistic approach to your entire network, but also your mobility program. And, um, you know, like I said, we have endpoints everywhere. They need to be managed and secured um, always. <laughs> uh, so the mobility program with Gartner, we created uh, a program called Mobile Device as a Service, so MDAS, which we're actually debuting here at Channel Partners. And Mobility Device as a Service is, is awesome, if I could say so myself. Um, basically, you know, managing mobility, enterprise mobility is complex, right? Uh, you have like equipment, software, ancillary services like MDM and uh, protection, device protection, break fix, recycling. And then you have um, staging and kitting. And we actually take all of that and we roll it into one solution and we provide devices. So uh, this is actually something else. And I'm sorry, I'm talking so long, but this is actually something that came up in my discussions with partners uh you know we have we're we're one of a few uh carriers that have um uh, like a a very large a rather large federal government contract and a lot of partners don't actually necessarily necessarily understand how that benefits them it actually very much benefits channel partners here's why first of all security and compliance rigorous testing in order to be on a government contract you actually need to prove that number two we have to have uh as part of government mandate we have to have u.s based support customer support 24 7 which we do and third you know we have to from a mobility standpoint have to have warehouses with like 20,000 plus devices like on hand at any moment at any given time you don't know when like fema needs whatever and frankly um we're dealing with a chip shortage, but like that got, that has nothing on us, I guess, because, you know, we have to we have to have that on hand. So when it comes to an Amazon like experience where you can like purchase and order devices and data and then we stage, we kit, we drop ship to your employees anywhere at their home and we have break fix. We, you know, you uh, ten percent of the spend is recovered through um, uh, to, if someone leans over and drops their iPhone or whatever, and it breaks. We send it out the next night, the next day, and uh, everything from secure wipe and clean, device recycling, and now I've bored you to death with mobility. You could never be bored with mobility because it is right, the future of the landscape here, especially, you know, with the remote workforce, the hybrid environment that we're in. And like you said, I mean, we're completely headed towards a hybrid environment well, well into the future. Um, Corey, wh what are some of your predictions for the future when it comes to the channel specifically? Video case studies and just further interactive ways to showcase success and rather than rather than like traditional prospecting, if you will. Right. 
So I think that's the future. Yeah, video case studies from Mettel are coming soon because the best vice president of channel marketing, Corey Cohen, is here with us live at Channel Partners 2022. Corey, where can viewers go to find out more about Mettel? You know what? It's Mettel.net, M-E-T-T-E-L.net. And I look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. Corey, it was such a pleasure having you on JSA TV. Thank you so much for joining us. And viewers, thank you for tuning in to another exciting episode of JSA TV at Channel Partners 2022. Happy channel networking.